Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Mercedes GLA. Um, we get quite a few of these GLAs, it's always extremely popular. Um, this one is particularly to my personal taste, just nice, simple, clean, all black, everything. So all the black inserts, black wheels, black leather, black paintwork, just nice and simple. Um, I'm going to take you around and show you everything I can see. Bodywork, fantastic. Wheels, we just had redone, so they're spot on. Just a couple of buttons have got a little bit of wear on the inside, was the only detrimental thing I could really see. But I'm going to take you around and show you everything I can see. Do as much detail as possible, and then obviously you can make your own mind up. Metallic black, I will find out the Mercedes name for that colour. I found the paint code just now, I've just not Googled it yet. And I'll pop that on there so you can see, but it is a standard metallic black. I've not got a great deal of sunlight today, but I can see there is some perhaps blue and gold in the flake to it. Uh, these lovely daytime running lights, LED ones, and then for the headlights themselves, they are Xenon. Front parking sensors, all gloss black through the grille. Like I said, I think they call that the night pack from memory. 19 inch alloy wheels, just been redone in gloss black. Uh, we tried to keep that as true to the original as we could. Got three Continental tyres and then one budget tyre, which is this one here. Folding wing mirrors with the indicators built in. I'll demo the folding when we get in. Got the side skirts down there as part of the AMG package. Black roof rails keeping the theme going. No dents or anything on the roof. Privacy gas through the back. High level brake light built up into the integrated spoiler. Formatic badge showing you that it is the four wheel drive model. Rear parking sensors along the back. Twin exhaust pipes down there. Boot protector. Right, electric tailgate on this one. There's the reversing camera which folds out automatically. Nice big boot, parcel shelf present, all clean and tidy in here. Storage on the sides. First aid kit in there. Through loading if you need to carry skis or planks of wood or whatever. False floor. That gives you your tire inflation kit and some of the tools. The locking wheel nut is in the glove box. I'll show you that when we get there. And to close the tailgate, just a tap on that button there. match and gaps and everything are perfect I can't spot any poor previous paintwork and it is HPI clear so I've got no reason to suspect any accidents or anything like that no noticeable stone chips sensor there so it'll have auto lights or wipers possibly both Right, inside now. Child locks just down there. Electric windows, black with grey stitching. It's the full leather. Most of these have suede through the middle with uh, leather bolsters, but this is perforated leather on the outside and sort of full leather through the middle. Isofix points for your two outer rear seats. If you're not using your middle one, your through loading is there that I showed you from the back. Left that undone. Um, you've got this armrest with fold out cup holders. Airbags built in up here as well. That's a visual aid for the parking sensors on top of the beepers and reverse camera. So you really have no excuse for backing into anything. Lighting up here, all black headlining, all black mats. 12 volt point tucked away in there and a little cubby hole magazine nets on the back of the seats. Other side obviously much the same but just so you can see everything from all angles. So you can see the two main seats are imi well, not imitations, they go in line with the front seats in like a bucket seat type and you've just got a single skinny seat in the middle. Oh, there's a little, yeah, a little scuff on the leather I noticed just here. If I can do something to tidy that up, I will. I, I thought it was just a little dirt mark at first, so 
tried the, you know, the wet finger, but that doesn't do anything. So we'll have a little look at that and if I can dull that down a bit, I certainly shall. Onto the front then, electric memory seats for both sides. Quite often it's just the driver's side, so it's good to have it on both sides. Electric windows as well. We've got the illuminated kick plates, shows up better at night, but the Mercedes logo illuminates in white. Lumbar support on the passenger seat and under seat storage as well. All in good order. Stitch leather dash, airbag built in here, brushed aluminium type fascia. Locking wheel nuts in there, I've included a picture of that opened up. And there's the owner's manual, there's like six or seven manuals in there. Again, I've put a picture of that all spread out over the seat so you can see exactly what's there. And we do have the optional uh, sat-nav unit plumbed in there. These all come with the cradle. It was an optional extra to actually have it fitted. And that's all integrated in here, as you can see. Mercedes logos on the bats and further storage there. All right, round to the driver's side where we'll finish off. Electric memory seats over this side as well. Electric mirrors, these are power folding. As demonstrated there. Electric windows, uh, so the window buttons have a bit of wear on it. I can touch these in with black paint if that's what you would like. And just let me know when buying the car. We can, we can tidy these up a bit. If a second hand bank of switches isn't particularly expensive, we could do that as, a, as another option. But just have a chat with us when buying the car. That's the release for the electric tailgate. Same over this side with the illuminated seal, the branded mats and the lumbar support. Driver's bolster holding up really, really well. Some light creasing to it, but no real fraying or holes or anything like that. Alloy pedals, parking brake, auto lights, fog light button. It's an unusual one to have wear on, isn't it? A fog light button, you just don't use it that often. Right, hop in to show you the rest. So here's your gear stick up here. If I pop it into reverse, that's the reversing camera. Two keys, both original Mercedes ones. There's the miles, 94,942. Lovely quiet engine. It's been running the whole time we've been doing this video. Flat bottomed, leather trimmed, multi-function steering wheel with flappy paddles. Um, now this guy obviously liked aggressively hanging up on people because there's some wear on the hang up button. Again, a, a strange one. Uh, the voice one comes into action when you've got your phone paired up. So audio and phone over this side and this one scrolls through your onboard computer. Cruise control down here, wipers over this side. Here's the sat nav screen. It also doubles up as the infotainment. So I'm just gonna use this little shortcut one here or you can use these buttons on here to navigate this. So audio, radio, disc, USB, and Bluetooth. This will look like it's flickering. It's not in real life. It's just because I'm videoing it. Link your phone up there. Oh. There's all the list of phones that have previously been added. You just add yours to that list and delete the old ones off when you take ownership of the car. And then back to the sat nav. Heat events here, single slot CD there. These shortcut buttons will take you to all the bits that I was just doing there in probably a, probably a neater fashion than I've done, to be honest. Uh, you've got some driving modes here. You've got your heated seats for both sides. Don't need them today, it's still quite warm. Parking sensors off, auto stop start off. And then your driving modes here, which look at that little green E, that will change, sports mode manual economy aircon controls down here 12 volt point and definitely not an ashtray there this is also definitely not an ashtray cup holders shortcut wheel probably got a better name than that armrest inside of which is a usb socket airbags up here illuminated vanity mirrors Interior lighting, 
that's got your alarm sensors and microphone and everything for the Bluetooth. Sunglasses holder. Uh, you can turn your alarm off on those ones. And then, might be an auto dimming rear view mirror, it's very chunky, but difficult to tell. Check on the spec sheet for that one. And that is everything I can see on the car. Um, yeah, what a lovely looking vehicle. I will include as many pictures as I can of interior, exterior, and paperwork. Along with this video, I'm trying to give you the experience of coming to see the car at the site without having to leave home. Um, if you like what you see here, you can keep that going by phoning us up with a small deposit. We'll prepare the vehicle to your liking and then bring it over. If you're happy with everything you pay, if you're not, you don't. I can explain that in much greater detail, obviously, if you want to give us a call. If you're um, wanting to come down to the site, obviously you're more than welcome. Um, main road car site on the border of Fairham and Gosport. Loads and loads of vehicles, tons to look at. Now the site is accessible seven days a week, so you can just wander on whenever you like, if you're just browsing. If there's a car, however, you're seriously interested in, you want to get in the car, start the engine, that sort of stuff, please, please do phone ahead and make an appointment. We're a small two-man business, and we're often out and about, even during the advertised opening hours. Uh, but if you call ahead, we will make sure that one of us is here to accommodate you. Okay, that's everything I've got to say, so thank you very much for watching.